Hello, swing dancing world. My name is Olenka. I am a Lindy Hopper from Ukraine, or at least I used to be before the war. I'm pretty sure you already know where Ukraine is, but you probably know very little about our swing dance scene and community. That is why I decided to make this video during the war, so that when the war ends with our victory, you would have even more motivation to come dance with us. Also, you can make this day closer. I will leave a QR code somewhere here and the link to the same page in the description. Uh, you will find all the information for foreigners to help Ukraine. The Swindon scene in Kiev exists since late 90s. It started with a few enthusiasts who did acrobatic rock and roll, switched to boogie woogie and then to lindy hop. Now we have everything from blues to tap, shag and balboa, authentic jazz, our own horse line, and even a big jazz show with live music. But instead of telling you the full history, which I may do in another video, I want to show you a few showcases created and performed by Ukrainians and tell you a little bit more about them. So the first showcase we will watch is by the father founder of Ukrainian swing dance community Taras Melnik and his partner Lana Mikhailuk. This video is from Rock That Swing 2014, but of course they performed it in Kiev as well. Lana now lives in Berlin, but Taras continues to teach in Kiev. Well, he did before the Russian invasion, and will hopefully get back to it soon. There is a link to the full version in the description. Next, I present you the Jazz Age Show. It is exactly what it sounds, a big show with live music and dances. It was created in 2017 and was performed regularly for three years. The show features some of the most prominent Ukrainian dancers and musicians. Before the quarantine, the whole team was about 20 to 30 people, depending on the show. One day, a dancer from Kiev, Olga Smirnova, returned from her rank dance camp, where she was one of the chorus girls. And she decided to create her own chorus line in Kiev. It is called Shiny Stockings and I'm a part of it too. We perform at dance parties and some private events, but Olga had a dream to dance to live music. And one day she told about this to her friends and that is how Jazz Age Show was born. But it's not only the chorus line. There are all styles of authentic dances, Lindy Hop, Charleston, Blue Step and many more. That is why I had really hard time choosing only one showcase from the Jazz Age, because it features about 15 performances packed in one hour. But I've chosen one of the newest, and it is a tap dance. Sadly, during the quarantine, the big show was first cancelled and later converted to a smaller format. It was called Speakeasy Jazz and performed entirely on stage. This particular video is not yet released on their official page, but I will leave a link to it anyway, you'll find many others there. By the beginning of 2022, they started planning to do a big show again. Well, the more reasons to come. By the way, the cover photo for this video also made at Jazz Age Show during the showcase called Jumping at the Woodside, so you can also check it out in their official page. <laughs> the next showcase is Blues, and it was also created for the Jazz Age Show, but performed later at Svinglandia 2018. Zinglandia used to be a big dance camp held in the beginning of May. It gathered several hundred people in a hotel just outside Kyiv for five days or so, and it used to be the biggest camp in the Eastern Europe. In 2018 it was converted to a city festival and today it's called Swingit. But there still are some smaller camp events in Ukraine. They are very cozy and friendly. You are invited to join.
but I do hope that after a victory we will have a huge camp again. Coming next, we have a solo showcase from Dudes in Suits. And I've chosen it for two reasons. First, I really like their style. And second, it is performed in Dnipro at Space Swing Festival. Dnipro is a large city on the southeast of Ukraine, not far from Donetsk and Kharkiv region. Since the full-scale Russian invasion, it has become one of the main harbors for refugees from the east and south of Ukraine, who have to leave their homes because of occupants and their bombs. So, the organizers of this relatively young festival are now volunteering in the refugee center. But we do hope that by September, it is when their festival usually happen, they will be able to make it again. And you should really come. <laughs> Did you know there is a big shack scene in Kiev? It is closely integrated with the Lindy Hop and Boogie Woogie, but there are dancers who perform this particular style. And a lot of them. So, I want to show you a Shack Dance Showcase. I've chosen this video not only because of girls, but also because it is filmed at one of my favorite spots in Kiev, and I miss it very much today. Number six. This video is a piece of art, both because of the performance and because of the camera work and production. The trio is called Sparkling Jazz, and you probably have seen the girls at European festivals. They do Broadway jazz here, but all of them are also swing dancers and really great ones. And the last one for today. This showcase was created for the team division of Virtual ILHC 2021, and it was later performed to the public. on the last big party we had before the war, on January 22. And on January 26, we planned to have another one. And then on the first weekend of March, we would have a big exchange. You got it. We had a lot of plans until February 24th. And we didn't have much dancing since then, until very recently. There was a spontaneous party in Lviv. And I believe this is a very good sign. This cafe has a wooden floor, but what is even more important, it is underground, like a proper bomb shelter. This is how we choose a location today. But I'm still happy people find strength to dance and strength in dancing. The war took a lot from us, including people we danced with. A lot of Ukrainian dancers and musicians joined armed forces and territorial defense, and each and every one of us is volunteering, or donating, and we are doing everything we can to make the victory day closer. It will probably never be the same, but I believe we will dance together soon. And we will rebuild our community with love and trust. So help us win and come dance with proud Ukrainians. I will be grateful if you like and share this video and maybe leave a comment on YouTube too. 
This channel is mostly in Ukrainian, but I will probably do more videos like this in the future. So to tell you more about Ukrainian swing dance community, and there is a lot to tell. So feel free to subscribe if you like it. And looking forward to seeing you.